we are excited about things we are buying uh, and yeah what are you doing already trying this <laughs> As you can see, I'm already wearing a pulley because we are back in Germany. Holiday is over and we're here to deal with our move and make sure that we settle in I'm our new place. House with something. <laughs> yes, so we are on our way to I care. I have to learn to care. No, they really you know that our monog are always in English, so we have to learn to pronounce the things also in English. I care. Otherwise, we call it IKEA all the time here in Europe. Not only in Europe, UK belong to Europe too, but here at least in uh, non-English speaking countries. And yeah, we're going to IKEA to get a couple of stuffs that we need. We're going to do a lot of buying furnitures. Uh, I mean, even furniture, I was just looking for accessories like lights and few things. But before that, a little bit of change that comes with us getting a new place is that when we were renting an apartment uh, there was always uh, massive trash containers outside of the apartment where you could just drop the trash separated of course now it's different when you kind of own your own it's not it depends on where the apartment is located and how is the administration here it's a small town or a village so each person have like what is called yellow plastic containers and you can only you have to throw all your recyclable trash in this yellow plastics and we don't have them they are usually only given out at the city rat house i don't know what it's called rat house and Things have changed. Back in the days, the rat house were always just open. You can go in any time and pick up these containers or plastic bags. But now, due to COVID, everybody, they are only working with uh, appointments. So, for the past, I don't know, we moved in our apartment somewhere beginning of August, second week of August. And now, it's uh, second week of September and we still have trash from the time we moved in to now. In the apartment because we don't have these plastic bags. Al is out here trying to make calls and see if we can get some for today at least. Side man, we finally. So this is how they look like. It's just like trash can, but in the yellow color. Oh, but this we should check on the website. You should have also asked the. Mm -hmm. The what? The schedule. I don't think we need a schedule. I think in our area they just come by and then they pick because the, our trash containers outside. I think yeah, we just pick it up. Exactly. Okay, good. Otherwise, if you like in the small village we lived before, we would also get a schedule and know when exactly to throw away which color of the trash container should be out on certain dates. Is it the yellow? Is it the green? Is it the black? What, what, what? But yeah, that is accomplished. Now we are going to IKEA. And let's see. If we are going to get some some nice stuff and good choices because because the problem of buying things uh, in a short time is that you're most likely to buy things that you don't need when we moved in three weeks ago we bought working tables they, they are not even a month old and we don't like them already and we have thrown away all the receipts and this is really bad it's one of the things we would also already want to replace from ikea so i'm hoping that today we are going to make good choices in village like a lot of plants greens all the streets are covered <laughs> like corridors and houses are, are quite family side house you don't really have a lot of apartment even if you have apartments they are not like 60 apartments in one building is like maybe six or maximum eight mm -hmm. and this cute house oh, it's really cute. Massive and my driver the driver the driver is excited so new houses yeah <laughs> 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 
It's 100% vegan. What are you having? I miss me some German food. <laughs> like, I was crazy. Kartoffel make me feel like a bit. And of course, a chocolate thing. Ah, you took coffee? I took coffee. But I took this because I love, all, the only thing that I really love is the, the, the small food pizza with the... The marmalade? Mm. Cup of lights. Lights, lights. And now we're checking out the mirrors for the fire. <laughs> Like this corner of the house that I can use now to film anything because everything else is still chaos. I got these are my favorite stuff, like IKEA meatballs, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be having this for my lunch box or light lunch, something that I don't need to that doesn't take so much time to prepare. And then I have also this one, it's a new one. I just, or oh, maybe they've been there for a while. It has been also, uh, I don't remember. Let me say it has been, yes, the past six months I haven't been to. <laughs> like, the, because of obviously since the Corona time and then after the lockdown, the restaurant was closed for a long time. I've been to Ikea, but the restaurant was all not open. So today I had this, which was, plant-based meatballs and they taste is very good. I bought a pack for myself. Like for organizing my kitchen drawers, but this super massive, it didn't fit in. It's not like, my, let me say it's, on either side it went a centimeter, it, it is a centimeter larger, so I can't use it. I also got this. I have had it in my previous apartment. Works very well as a bean because it flips, it's white. In this case, it's always easy to keep it clean. It's not easy to keep it clean, but you notice when it's not clean. So it makes, kind of forces me to clean my bin as I bought this. I don't want to keep lunch boxes in plastic form anymore. So these are good. Leftovers, lunch boxes, glass, microwave safe. Some light for our staircase. And then this, these are also storage. No more plastic. So usually for my meal planning, I do prepare either porridge or bean soup or bean stew. I will just keep in one of these and then the other container for rice. And then any extra leftover, I just thought, you know what, let's get some stuff. Before I start buying plastics because they're cheap. I don't want to buy plastic anymore. And then Ali chose this set. I wanted to buy gold, but not approved. So we're going to go with a classic one. So this is, we bought two of this. One should be for the living room and one should be for the bedroom. It's not like something that we're going to use for forever, but we just really needed light right away. The past, like the first week we lived in here before we went to Italy, we were only using our YouTube lights. And I don't know, we thought we should just get something. Let's hope it's going to work. We are back in Germany. First beer of the month. Oh. And while fixing lights. Oh. We managed to do the stair. No, the stair is not done yet. It's the most complex one because we don't have like steps that we can use and it's they are quite high and we couldn't reach them bedroom done hmm? i'm a short guy no they're just too high maybe okay he's a short guy and now we're going to do the living room we bought this excuse me no oh. we are making it up a lot we bought the ikea smart smart lights a little bit more complex to fix i hope you're going to manage so the good thing about 
Okay, be careful. You don't have protective goggles or anything. You don't have gloves. You don't have clothes on. It's very, very hard to drill here. I don't think it's going to work. First, start with one thing and see if it's working. I just them nicely. You're going swimming? I'm going swimming. I told you, you need some safety stuff. You do have safety stuff, you see? No, that's for swimming. I don't know, the camera's not focusing. Ah, without sunlight. Let me say it took like an hour and some minutes to to to, to do the lamp. I had also to stand up and help Ali. Uh, we were excited because you see it is a smart lamp. And the other thing that we discovered in the process of uh, installing this is that above here on our roof that we thought was just like a normal paper ceiling is actually the actual wall it was very difficult to drill it took Ali a lot of time and then the thing is not as smart as we thought it doesn't have the remote i think the remote has to be bought separately so i'm a little bit disappointed because of the work we put in and because of the holes that we have already on the wall and considering that it took like an hour and 30 minutes which is we're going to keep it you don't? Mm -hmm. but do you like it or it's fine? It's fine, I want to see with the remote. Ah, okay. To see how old it work. I'm full of dust, white dust. I look like a, I sniffed cocaine. <laughs> Very bad. Surprise, surprise. Because I ordered this yesterday around 12 a.m. and then they've already arrived. First thing, because we are in Germany, we are openers. I needed some. <laughs> Maybe one would have been enough, but there were two euros a pack. Okay. Oh no! Ale, guess what we got? Vacuum cleaner. Oh, really? Yes. Actually, there's nothing else. There's only a vacuum cleaner. Oh no! I'm so happy. Because with all the drilling that Ali was making in the background, it's messy. I hope this is going to work because the one that I got from Ikea today didn't fit. This should be extendable in here. I'm so happy now that we got this. So it fits perfectly and we can also extend a bit maybe for the, on the side so i can add knives and stuff i'm just really happy from all that gas to here all the knives i love everything except for this we bought them once i don't know as steak knives and they're we don't use it i think i'll get rid of this they're also terrible when you're cutting through steaks because i don't know they are not good so but everything else fits amazing Look! I mean, seriously? Mm -hmm. I hope it's going to vacuum something. Yeah. I'm curious. We have, we have, like, you know, uh, a hundred and something. I think 120. What is the brand? I don't know. It's called. <laughs> Okay, that is not... Orfeld. I thought it's German. I don't know, at least... No, I'm not sure. At least it had most of the reviews from this uh, category in uh, Amazon. Or oh, on Amazon. There was this one and a second one. Uh, 
Amazon. You know, 2,000 reviews. Let's hope they are real because Amazon is also known for selling for selling reviews. It's quite small, so if I compare it to my look, how small this is, it looks more like a toy. Yeah. Oh, you want to read instruction first? No. Want to break it? I never read instruction of anything, really. That's for removing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I say this, and I don't know what... Please. Yeah, you're welcome. But this, look at this. I see this. This is a filter. We need to put it here. Somewhere, Somewhere here. here. The instructions are not. Is it sucking? It looks like it's sucking. I, I, I'm not liking it. I feel like I should take it back and just go to Media Mark and buy me a 500 euro thing that may be solid. Oh. Make sure this is closed because this is the only thing we changed. Yep, now it's closed. You had a click. Yeah, you see. Before it was not. One of the reasons why I prefer to, to buy things second hand, now we are excluding the fact that it's always affordable, super cheap, you're probably going to pay 80% off because the title of the item has been used before. Uh, the other good thing is that they rarely come in boxes and with guarantee. So, if this was second hand, I would just pick up this and the charger. So it looks like this charger station. I just pick up the vacuum cleaner and the charger and that's it. And then the person who was using it would just tell you, you know, I was using it this way. Go. You come try it at home. If it works, good. If it doesn't work, bad luck. But most of the time you can also try it at the place where they're second hand shop or maybe uh, where you're buying it from. To know that it's working but when you buy something new obviously it comes with this massive box and then oh guarantee then you want to keep the box for next two years until guarantee is over it's just not my thing i have to take this to the basement and keep it but it's just like i always feel like you're wasting it's a waste of uh space ale hey. comes to to a chow, chow, chow. Oh, you are unpacking. Start from the trip. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think. Okay, keep your nipples out of it. They are protected now. Did you wash your face? No, baby, I'm completely dusty and still from the thingy. All right. Anyway, guys, I think that was the end of today. Pretty much a little bit just of what is happening now with us at home. Uh. The rest of the amazing video will be up when we have everything in order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As for now, we'll keep trying to put this home together. How long do you actually think it will take us to turn this into home? Yeah, a few months. 24 months, 12 months, 3 mm, months? 7 months. I hope at least the living room and the working area would be first to sort out. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with the light that just took us an hour and 30 minutes, but we have <laughs> we've got something and now since it took so much time to to drill and we make the drill we made and also it, it did cost a lot for the fact that it's plastic and we didn't come with a remote it's, it's, we are going to keep it 
Until ciao, 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 ciao. Yeah, that was it from us today. If you enjoyed this vlog, give us a like, say some comment. I'm curious to know from you guys when you move into new places, how long does it actually take you to to settle in and just make sure everything is in. I feel like it going it is going to take us a lot more than we expected. This house had some furniture already, like the kitchen was already in there, which is amazing, of course, but still it's a work in progress it takes time to make sure that it just it's a home and we feel like we can oh, stay here <laughs> we are excited about things we are buying uh, and yeah what are you doing already doing this <laughs>